After two rounds at the 2012 Seneca Soiree, Steve Brinster could not find a way to make up the difference to take the lead from Brian Schwaberger. Even after recording an ace on hole 27, Steve just couldn't find the way. Could Steve make it to the final and record his second win at the Soiree? Or will Jeremy Colling get hot and win it in back-to-back -back years? To find out, stay tuned as Disc Golf Monthly starts now. Welcome to another edition of Disc Golf Monthly. We're in Gaithersburg, Maryland at the Seneca Creek State Park for the 21st Annual Seneca Soiree Disc Golf Tournament. Hello everyone, I'm Carl Cubbage, joined by fellow disc golfer Rex Hay. Rex, uh, last month on Disc Golf Monthly, we covered day one of this event, and uh, day two is going to be a rather interesting event, especially after Steve Brinster's ace. He's only right. two strokes behind Brian. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you, this is going to be this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Steve has some really really smooth shots, and uh, Brian has that uh, that thumber he uses, but it's, it's going to it's going to be limited by that uh, this in these rounds because of these cedar trees. You know, he's going to be throwing a lot of rollers like everybody else. This is a really beautiful course. And it's going to be interesting to see how that how it turns out. Yeah, you talk about the cedars; they've really grown over the years. So you used to be able to throw over those quite easily. <laughs> yeah, anymore you'll see almost every player out there roll, and even you know the thumber that Swebby throws. You're just going to see that roller come out of his hand because it's hard to navigate through them, and once it that tree catches it, it doesn't let go. It's just stuck up there. And the course, it's it's the park is actually dedicated just to disc golf. It's got three loops of nine holes. They did a rework and uh, quite a course. Tell me a little bit yeah. about it. Yeah, these you'll see these tees are almost parquet. They've got uh, you know tiles that are set down, and for some reason they're really not slippy at all. They they grip nicely, and uh, they've lasted a long time. And and again, it's like you said, this course was designed just for disc golf. It's really a beautiful. It's a long course. It has that middle play. You like to see that middle game where they have, the player has to think: Do I go for it or do I lay up and get out without any trouble? And it really sets the uh, the player to thinking about what he's going to do. Well, in the second day of this event, we're covering for this uh, edition of Disc Golf Monthly. There's going to be 27 holes for the third round, which is pretty brutal, <laughs> and then a final nine by the top eight players. That's right. That final nine is going to be fun fun to watch because it's just the last two cards, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be a dogfight. I'm sure it will be. Well, before we check the final nine action, we're going to go down to the previous round highlights, where we'll see how they did during that 27 holes. Okay, JG on hole number 17. Sean rips one down the middle, going from right to left. Gets a nice skip at the end. Craig Gangloff putting on hole 10. And that's a nice putt by Craig. That thing's in there solid. Okay, Ian Liddell, hole 18. Look at that rip nice and flat and low. Ian sends it by. Gets a little skip there at the end. He doesn't have that much work left. And here's Artru Sikkanen, putting on hole 27. Another straight in the chains, kaboom. Here we have Ian again on hole 19. Ian sends a low shot there, flexing. Coming back nicely. Just pin high. Ian Liddell for this birdie putt on 19. Dead center, nice shot. Okay, we've got Brian Schwaberger on hole 18. Ryan digs down low and really gets a nice rip there. Should see a little skip here at the end. Not bad, pin high to the left. Marked. Brian Schwaberger with his birdie putt on 18. Brian with that unique putting style, bang, right in there. He's happy about that. And here we have Ian Liddell again on hole seven. Ian lays down a roller, which you need here with the tall cedars. Coming back nicely. Too bad. He will not have that much work left. Awesome. And we've got Brian Schwaberger putting on hole 10. Another great putt. Outstanding. Brian's happy about that as well. And here we have Steve Brinster on hole 11. Stevie with a nice pump low down the middle. He'll be sitting nice in the fairway. Steve Brinster's approach on hole 11. Another nice smooth shot. Ooh, that looked like it was going in. A little short, I think. 
And here we have Joe Gustafson on hole 21. Joe with a nice rip there. It keeps it nice and low. We'll be sitting nice in the fairway. And we've got Jay Gobrek putting on hole 16. All right, Jay. Bang, right in. Nice putt. And here we have Bobby Herman, my buddy, driving on hole 9. Bobby gets a nice roller down there. Starting to fade back to the uh, right-hand side in the trees there. A little bit of work left. Okay, Joe Mila, the technician, putting in hole five. That's a sweet putt by Joe, straight in. He's happy about that. And here we have Joe again on hole 27. And Joe, they don't call him the technician for nothing. He can really roll and roll and roll. It's still going, Rex. It's the Energizer Bunny. There it goes. It's still One going. One of my favorite people to watch throw a roller. <laughs> nice job there, Joe. Woo and that's it for the previous round highlights. All right, folks. Well, the previous round highlights really showcase this course. And like you said, rollers are really required with those tall seaters. Oh, I'm telling you, I don't think I've ever seen Brian Swager, Swayberger throw more uh, uh, backhand shots. He's always usually thumbing it. But at this course, those seaters just jump out and grab that disc. And it's amazing <laughs> to see how long Joe can get them to roll. Oh, man. They just like the Energizer Bunny. That thing just keeps rolling, rolling, just like Joey. <laughs> and we saw some great putting as well, and I think that's going to be a key today. Oh, yeah, it's going to be very, very key. This is a really great course, and this is going to be a fun final nine. Well, we are catching the final nine holes with the top eight competitors, and we're going to follow the top card of four players. And who are the top four pros well, we're going to follow, Rex? We've got it uh, finishing at 193 after the third round. We've got Steve Brinster from Warwick, New York. Steve was first at Amalfest, New York, 14th at the Memorial in Arizona, and third at the FDR Fools Fest in New York. And then we have at 194, right behind him, Brian Schwaberger, Tarboro, North Carolina. And we've got, he's finished second at the Barkbuster uh, Bonanza in North Carolina, first at the Bay Hill Spring Pro-Am in Virginia, and second at the Azalea Disc Golf Tournament in North Carolina. And then right behind him at 195, Jeremy Colling, Charlotte, North Carolina, second at the Prairie Open, Wisconsin, first at the Festival of Roses in South Carolina, and fifth at the Dynamic Disc Glass Blown Open in Kansas. And then... We've got uh, our grandmaster playing in the open division, Joe Mila with the 199. Joe bumped up from the second card, and uh, he is finished second at the Carolina Clash, North Carolina, fifth at the King of the Hill in Delaware, and first at the Spring Flush in Pennsylvania. Wow, we've got quite a group and some subplots here, Rex. We've got last year's winner, Jeremy Coling, who was born the year that Joe Mila went pro. And Joe's a former world champion, has won this event many years. That's going to be interesting. And we've got Brian Swayberger, a touring pro who wins frequently yes. on tour. And Stevie Brinster with that ace, he's smooth as silk. You can never count Steve out. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, this final nine. Well, folks, we hope that you'll stay with us to catch the final nine, see which of these talented top pros is going to take away the title. We will be right back after a short break. For years, Disc Outfitters has been your online resource for taking care of all your disc golf needs, including creating custom-made disc golf apparel for tournaments and clubs. Get ready for the DO Days Monthly event at the Rockburn Branch Disc Golf Course, as well as the DO Series Point League. For more info, stop in at their Disc Golf Warehouse at 9691 Columbia, Maryland, or call or click today. All right, here we are in the final nine with our top four competitors. We've got Steve Brinster starting off here. That's right. He's got a one-stroke lead over Brian Schwayberger. Yeah, this is a tight battle here. 193, 194, 195. This is All right, we're on to basket 10. It's a white TD pin, par four, 621 feet. Yeah, this is going to be a fun hole to watch. These guys are all going to end up rolling this. They've got to. It's just a long roll, great, great for a roll shot. Steve with some great concentration and form. Yeah, you notice too, Steve will visualize the shot before he throws. You'll yeah. see it. You can see him standing there. He's visualizing what he wants it to do. Well, he certainly worked that terrain 
Very nice. Brian's going to give us a go, too. A little wind picking up. And it looks like he grip lock it, is yep. what Brian said. Still Caught going, a though. Bit of a tree. Still going. Hit that first tree, but it's, it's moving along. Here's Jeremy on uh, his first throw. Oh, he caught a little bit of the left side branches there. That's yeah. a tough break. Yep. And here's Joey. Southpaw. One of the funnest guys you could throw around with, Rex. Oh, yeah, a lot of fun. Blazed by the rules all the way. Ooh. Oh, just yeah, caught just a little bit of tree. a tree. It was on its the way. It, caught it something. was. And here's Jeremy with a sidearm shot. He's kind of stuck here a little bit in the in the rough. Looks like he's got a gap to work with. Yeah, he pushed a little bit. I think it might be might be a little tough spot. And here's Brian. Good view of Brian's shot here. Second throw. Ooh, he let that go. And see it's whipped back. That was a thumb shot. Boy, he's known for that shot, Rex. Okay. Here's Joey with his roller. Second shot. Backside. Joey talking Run. to it. Ah. Yeah, he didn't like the way that turned out. Steve down on his knee to get under the cover here. Get a stable platform. Nice and smooth. Look Falls at that away. release. Oh, he's so smooth. Yes. He isn't happy with it, but it was a smooth release. Jeremy also down in the same area. has got to get down low. You notice his release is almost seems nonchalant. It's just a sweet, And he gets a throw. lot of power out yeah. of it, too, Rex. Yeah. Joe's in a tough Joe's spot. Joe's looking here. up high for a cut shot. Uh, well, I go think that early. jump caught him offline a little yeah. bit. Maybe his footing's a little off. There it is. Just over the top. Yep. Had to give it a run. And here's Brian, Brian third throw. At the alley, he's going to try to take right or left. Goes outside with the Andy shot and just puts it there close. Yeah. That's all I needed to do. Steve with his unique style. Ooh. Just catches the top <sighs> rim there. That's a tough break. Yeah, he wasn't happy about that. Here's Joe with his fifth throw. He needs this. Okay. Center chains for yep. Joe. <laughs> Took the bogey there, but he'll be, uh, he's happy to be off this hole. Whoa, that was a tough one. A little bit high on the chains. It almost caught that top rim and went out. You know, something to notice here is these guys walking off. It's the, the player that's putting. It's, it's their job to uh, call the person that's walking off if it bothers them at all. You can see it didn't. They just kept putting. Yeah, you but, certainly, if yep. the, the player's in your way, you wait, let them clear out, and then make your putt. But, uh, but if, uh, if they miss it, it's on them. They're, it's their, their opportunity to call well, it. Well, okay, here so. we go. It's still a one-stroke lead. We've got three pars and a bogey as we move on to the next hole. We've got basket five. It's white tee, B-pin, par three, 491 feet. Oof. Okay, this is going to be interesting. It's a tight fairway. Here's Steve with his first throw. A nice gallery watching this group here. Ooh. A little Caught wood a little early. Bit. Caught a trunk there. Here's Brian. Now Brian throws a lot of whippets. Whippets of firebirds. Yeah. That's a shot with this thumber. There it is. He catches just a little bit of it, but he's dead center in the yep. fairway. Good position. Here's Jeremy with his first throw. Forehand shot. Nice nonchalant smooth shot. Look turns it over point. nicely and gets it to flex oh. back in. The center. That's oh. a really nice shot there. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at the roll. <laughs> oh, nice finish a, there. Oh, you can't have anything nicer than that. Here's Joe with his first throw. Here's that southpaw. Nice and smooth. Yeah, well, let's see what All those right. trees do for his next shot. Here's Steve's second throw. Just almost see him visualizing what he's going to do with that. Great focus, that's for oh. sure. Carl looks like that shot might have gone out of bounds. Wow, that's a good look there at the basket and what, what Brian's facing. Mm. Let's see if he can just stick it right there. 
thumb shot. Bang. Look at that. Valet parking. <laughs> Not too far off. Nope. He's in good shape. And here's Joe's second. Joe's got to swing one up there. Looking to see how far he's got to cut it. Goes up nice and high. I'm a big fan of the cut shot. <laughs> Not too bad there. Just an effortless forehand. Uh, it almost I, I looks nonchalant, it doesn't it? Does. It does. Carl, I've never seen anybody throw so smooth. It, it just sweet as can be. And there it is. Solid shot. Right. There you go. Okay. All right, Stevie went out of bounds, so he's shooting for his bogey here. Let's see if he can grab it. Nice yeah, shot. You can see the OB line was just yeah, behind him. Yeah, yeah. Tough break. That's going to tie him with uh, Brian for the lead. Here's Joey with his third throw. He needed that. Keep, keep right in the center in of the chain. In order to chains. climb back in, he's going to need to need to keep going here. Keep it rocking. Jeremy. There we now. go as the group moves on to the next hole. We've got a tie okay. now between right. Brian and Steve. Game on with Jeremy only one sh shot back from the leaders. Yep. As we move on to basket 13, this is a white TD pin, par 5, 610 feet. This is a very difficult dogleg right hole. Here's Brian. You know, as hard as these guys throw, it just looks so smooth when they let them go, Rex, yeah, on the he tee. He had a lot of power in that. This is a very interesting hole. You'll see this uh, drainage uh, uh, vent there that these guys are throwing up around. And then they have to make another shot to continue to go that way over to the right. Again, nonchalant-like shot, but what a what a great distance. Beautiful. Look you at this, You certainly don't skip. want to be down the oh. left side or your OB. Yeah, and look at this. That's look outstanding. This yeah, that left. That uh, little creek on the left-hand side is, uh, there's an OB line there. Joe swings that one out. His is going to break back. Goes. This favors a lefty for sure. Yeah. Ooh, he hit that tree. He really would have liked that extra distance. Now, here's Steve. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Steve he's got here on his shot. Stevie's starting a little bit down the left side. Yeah, that might be a tricky over shot as much here. As he to. Uh oh, heading towards the OB. I think it might wow, have he caught. Wow, he caught a break. Is. Almost got the cameraman. He's like uh, 18 <laughs> inches away from the OB line. Oh, he's just made it inbounds. Nice smooth throw. Look at that thing turning over nicely. That's a tough shot if oh. you lose it and it goes to the left yeah. and hides out yeah. on you. That's Steve Great masters out. that shot every time. Here's Joe again. This favors his arm, but it's going to be a little tough getting it down there. Wow, All right, looks like he's right. okay there. Yep. Brian. Wow, this is not going to be a thumber. Yeah. Nice backhand turnover shot, turning nicely. Oh. That's beautiful. Nice Did you see the nice flag shot. there through the trees? Yeah, excellent. Here's Jeremy with a flick shot. I see another effortless nice flick smooth. shot He's coming up, about Rex. This. There it is. With a nice little run up oh. there, but catches that one thin tree in the middle of the fairway. Push the back. Is Joey going between those wow, trees? Wow, Joe has got it. Yeah, it looks like uh, the two trees past that one. There's a gap. He goes high on it. Oh, he wanted that one. It just was a little short of the chains. He's right there. Okay, here's Jeremy. Now that Boy, was that was smooth well. there. Release. Smooth. Yeah. Here's Brian with his third throw. And birdie for him. You know, Rex, at this level of play, you, you notice that there's really no wasted energy in the in the uh, the release of the disc. Everything's smooth, yep. deliberate, focused. Bang, there it is. Very Solid. confident. Very confident in release. Joey finishes up here. Okay. All 
Good. On to the next hole. And now on we go. We still have the uh, tie lead there. Two eagles from our leaders. It separates them from the two birdies there. As we move right. on to basket 14, Rex, this is a white tee, C-pin, par 4, 582 feet. Again, this uh, is going to bear to the right. And we're going to see Brian up first here. Looks like it's going to be another backhand. Good shot of the gallery following these players here. High shot. Oh, and he caught an early tree. Yeah, early lumber there. Let's see what Stevie can do here. Oh, that's a Stevie looked shot. like he gripped that, grip locked that a little bit. Oh. oh. He got everything out of it though. Look yeah, where he's he lying. He right okay. dead center. Yeah. That was his Excalibur. Jeremy's backhand. Nice and smooth. A low shot. A little low, yeah. Caught some lumber there. And here's Joe. He's going to make this flex back. I think that one got away from yeah. Joe. He was hoping that would turn over. Yeah, he wanted the tree to turn line. over, and it didn't, didn't mm. come out the way he wanted it to. Brian, with that early tree, is on his second throw. He's got a little bit of work here. Oof, a lot of power in that shot. Get him out of trouble. Uh, and he kicked up into the woods there, it looks like, Cubby. A nice low shot, but he'll have some work left. Jeremy visualizing what he's going to do with that window. Sends a nice high one up there. They got some good D out yeah, of it. All right. Now here's Joey out of the woods. Yep, we saw Joe's tee shot get away from him. Let's see what he's going to craft here. This is his third shot. Right, I'm yeah. not sure where that one finished. Yeah. And here's Brian's third throw. That hurt, hit some foliage as well, but it looks like it got out okay. Uh, here's Steve's second throw after that great drive. You see the basket off in the right one third of the screen. Oh, Sends it down. Nice and smooth. Yeah, he really, he, you can see Cubby, when, when Steve throws that, he really does visualize what he's going to do. Oh, he certainly does. You can almost see the, the line he's taken by his focus. Joey, Joey does it as well. Uh, they'll, these two guys in particular, uh, uh, two players that I see that actually think about and they see that this taking its line before they release it. Here's Jeremy. Well, and the recovery shot is certainly a key for the players at this level. Yep. They get out of yep. trouble. All right, let's see if we can bang some chains here. Jump putt. Uh, Just a little bit low. Short. Kick a little long there. Come back. Steve's got that laser focus on the chains. Solid. Right in the middle. Next time Clark does it. So. Wow. All right, they're all close finishing yeah. up here. Got to be careful not to be too lackadaisical on these putts because yep. every putt could get you. Yeah. Wow, we got a three-stroke swing there. We actually got a double bogey from Brian and the birdie from Stevie. That's going to be tough to make up. Folks, we're going to go to a quick break, and we'll be right back. What do a store owner, a mother of two, and an honor student have in common? They've all recovered from a mental health problem, and they're all part of our lives. Mental health problems are surprisingly common. They affect almost every family in America, maybe even yours. Get the facts about mental health. Call 1-800-789-2647 because mental health is part of all our lives. Welcome back. We're on basket 15. This is a blue TC pin, par 4, 610 feet. Yep, this is dead away. Narrow fairway, straight down the gullet. That is a tight looking window, Rex. You Almost as tight as the tee pad. Yeah. You see that parquet tee pad. That's what I was talking about earlier. <coughs> All right, that drifts a little left, but he got through that gap nicely. Jeremy actually running the line of what he's going to do. Oh, my God. And oh, he wasn't happy with that when he broadcast that he was going into the tree. Joe visualizing again where he wants that disc to go. Let's see if he could turn it over some. That's 
a good gotta drive. Live, it's pretty good. A bit. Yeah, you can see he's he's so competitive. He almost wills that disc to go where he wants it to. That Lions is a great so shot. Yeah, that's going to land nicely there. Oh, that's a good comeback shot after the last hole. Jeremy's not happy about his first drive there. but it's it's got a high go, turnover, go. but it caught go. some trees. He talked it, talked it in to keep going. You never see a casual shot from Joe. He's got so much energy and focus on every yeah. shot. I like that, Joey. There it is. There got we him, go. Got him where he wants to be for that putt. Okay. All right, let's Jeremy. see what happens. Let's see if Jeremy can recover here on this hole. Struggling a little bit down this fairway. That's a good shot. Oh. Thought that was on its way. Hit some wood again. He's not happy now. There's his thumb shot. Look at the skip. Oh. It looked oh. like a thumb skip, but it hit the tree. That would have been nice it was to see that. Good. I thought it was Make a skip. run at it. Steve's got a good framed looking shot here. Nice and smooth. Just want to get it close and put that next one in. That's it. Good shape. This is his uh, birdie. And it is a birdie Solid putt. dead Bang. center change there, Rex. Yep. Birdie putt. Here's Brian's third throw. He buried out. Nice job. Solid putt for Joe. Very nice. All right, three birdies and a double bogey. Uh, Steve with still a three-stroke lead here as we move on to basket 23, blue tee, C-pin, Par 5, 480 feet, Rex. Okay, this is another dog leg right. Here's Steve Brinster on his drive. Our leader is focused. Let's see if the pack can catch him. Nice smooth release. Looks keeps, like it hit a little foliage there, but it keeps it under the canopy, but gets some good yeah. D out of that okay. one. It works. Joey with a nice shot yeah, in the middle. Plenty of D with that. It's not bad. Not bad. Good position. Brian with a backhand, looks like. Let's see, he goes. He might roll this. Nope. Backhand. It's a it nice, is. smooth backhand. That should be flexing back nicely, and it does. All right. Looks like Jeremy just let his go. Yep. Wow, he, let, he was upset about that last hole. He just let just it rip. Let it go quick. Okay, here's Joey's second throw. <laughs> Looked pretty smooth. I don't know where where it ended up there, but he didn't seem too upset. Ryan with a thumber. Thumber. Just trying to drill it through that gap. <laughs> and Brian, he's having a good time no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, he slipped and his shot still got off and went okay. Yeah, we all learn in disc golf, whoever has the most fun wins. So it's it's good to see at the top level when you're still having fun, yeah. even when the chips are down. Yeah, and this is something uh, Jeremy's having a little trouble with here. He's just frustrated, but we, uh, we've all been there too. But yeah, it's a lot of fun when uh, he's, you're playing with somebody like, like Swaggy. Absolutely. He's uh, so, much, so much fun to be with. Nice visualization, and just, and then a, just, just release. a smooth release. It just oh, he was begging that to stop. Brian did something here just just now. He knew that that drops off. It that. looks like it drops off behind. He just wanted that. He was a smart move to lay up and just putt or out. Or an amateur like myself yeah. would be going for the chains and go down the hill. Yeah. Joey had it swinging up. Joe's got that down. body English and everything working yeah. that disc. Yeah. He was that disc wasn't going to go downhill. That was swinging to the right. It was going to stop. Good look it. at Steve, our leader, on his third throw. Just caught the upper part of the target, yep. and he knew it early. Yeah, frustrated with that one. He's doing fine. He's okay, but he just wanted that to fall. That was in his wheelhouse. He wanted that one. You can tell Steve is focused here. Yep. And certainly wanted that one in. Yeah, 
for Joe. It's fourth. Solid Best. shot there by Joe. No problem. Excellent. You know, a lot to be said about their pre-shot routine. Yep. These guys all have a routine. They yep. just don't step up and throw. And there's here Steve we go, folks. We're coming Brian, down the stretch here. Three-stroke lead by our leader, Steve Brinster, as we move on to basket 24. White TB pin, par three, 356 feet. Right, Carl. And this is a slow swing to the right. Here's Jeremy with his first shot. It's a Gets roller. that roller down. That thing is hopping. Going, going, going. Wow, he got some good D on yeah. that Yeah, he's out there. Well, it's he's nice putting. to be up there past those last two trees. Now, Steve, he's using every part of the tee pad and part of the brace there. He looks likes like to come so in well. from the side. Yep. See if he gets his roller down nice. Ooh. Caught something early down the right side. Came out on the right, but I think mm. it's just a little bit in the rough there. And here's the technician with his left-handed roll shot. He put some oomph on that one. <laughs> That's out there, and it's going. There it goes. That's that stingray he's got in his bag, that old stingray. Yeah, and he'll have a good look there. <laughs> yep, have a run at it. We've all got those go-to discs we yeah. use, Rex. <laughs> that DX Stingray, that's got to be a few years old. All right, let's see. And Brian gets his roller down as well. Caught a little something there near the base of the tree, and that took it to the left. We'll see how far he went in. Could be a yeah, tough out. Yeah, it looks out. a little rough. Uh, Steve, his second throw. Nice and smooth. Smooth, yeah. flat delivery. Yeah, just he got it to up in his there. range. It's in his, he wanted to carry a little further, but he, he got out. Wow, it looks nice like smooth. Brian's in jail there. Let's see if he's got a window. Yeah, that's the scenic route right there. He had a short throw. Looks like he got it up high. And he's got a little bit work here on his third. Now yeah. he's down on his knees. Got Oof. a tree with some branch, low branches. Wow, oh. just caught the rim. Oh. Oh. Looks like we got a little roll away. Oh. That's a tough break. He yeah. thought he had it. Yeah, it was on its way. He had it zeroed in. Here's Joe's second throw. Turn, baby. There nice it is. Nice shot, yeah. Joe. Yeah. yeah, Joe. Yeah, he's excited. Give it some. <laughs> he's intense. Okay, here's Jeremy Collins' second throw. Boom. Oh, he nice. goes around the world on that shot. one. Nice birdie. Yep. Brian on his bogey shot here. Yeah. Okay. Gets the bogey there. Okay, still fighting. And Steve, his third throw. Yep. Didn't He's go as in. close to the best as he wanted to on that up shot, but it got there. And here we go. We've got a four-stroke lead. Wow. Stevie and in command of the course here on basket 26, white TC pin, par three. 439 feet. Oh, uh, this is brutal. This is a long hole. And it's a rolling shot, too. It's up and down. It's not flat. Ooh. Catches some tree cover. Sitting OK. Let's Joe. See what Joe has. It looks like he's going to set down another roller. He's got his sidewinder. Gives it some oomph, and here he goes. Let's see if he can work the terrain. Oh, yeah. It's got some good speed as it heads by the camera. And there it goes. He's got a little a work look. left, yep. Look at the intensity Steve has. Nice and smooth. And still gives it such a nice, soft, smooth release and gets some good power yep. out of it. He's, He's in a good, good position, position there. Yep, excellent. Brian. Smooth back Just in. gets all of his body in that shot there, Rex. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's in good position too. That's where you want to be, is in the left fairway. And Brian, or this, or excuse me, Jeremy's so a little bit left. Clearing out yeah. some of the clutter behind his disc where he's going to stand. All right, all right. smooth delivery there. Well, you can see the flag back there. Should have dropped down okay. Going right to left. Let's see if we can get a little skip. Yeah. Should be okay. Should be in good shape. It's wheelhouse for certain. 
Brian, same thing. Right to left, trying to nice skip cut. up. Yep, gets up there, a nice goes. skip there. Yeah, dribble. Joe, it's right. a little Anheuser shot here. That's what it looks like. Anheuser cut. Nice high oh, Anheuser cut. Look at that comeback. Yeah, was happen too. Right. yeah he left he it a little bit too far to the right. Yeah, Not too bad, though. Wow, just caught the yeah. upper part. That yeah. thing just did not sink on him. Yeah. Didn't drop. That was the first time that he's hit the top of the basket. Here's Jeremy. Nice. Solid center Very change settled, there. Very settled. Almost nonchalant. Just nice and smooth. Our leader, Steve Brinster, on his third throw on the par three here. Solid. Okay. And Brian, Brian with that interesting yep. delivery yeah. starts with the Anheuser, then gets the Hold it up release straight. going. All but pars, but a bogey for Joey. Steve Miller on that one. Out. We're moving on here to basket 27. It's a white tee, C pin, par four, 507 feet. Yeah, it's another brutal hole. You can see the bugs there yeah. are out in force. They shouldn't come into play, let's hope. Let's hope that disc is, doesn't even see him. Right. Looks like he gets under the bugs with the roller there, Rex. Yep. That's still That's going. That's got shot. some juice on it. Absolutely. Woo. That'll play. It's a great way to be able to advance the disc on the ground if you've got the skill for it. And here's Steve. His first throw. Steve goes with a high air Ooh. shot. He's got an arm. Look at that. Oh. Looks like it's hitting some All right, foliage on the way down. Almost got is. the cameraman as he had to do the 360 to assess where that one came down. All right, here's Brian. Looks like he's going to line up for some sort of roll shot. Yep. A high sky rolling shot there. There he goes. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, some of the gallery has to scurry out of the way. <laughs> and here's Joe. Nice shot of the gallery there watching these top players. Yeah, you know, Carl, I think this gallery is starting to pick up. Uh, it looks like it's growing in force here. Joey with a low punch, and he really got some juice on it. It's got oh, yeah. a lot of torque. Here it goes. Right. I didn't. There, there it, it is. It looked like it stopped for a while, <laughs> I but I think it's it slow motion. <laughs> Put the slow motion camera shot on it. Dude. There. That's that's beautiful. This is the uh, one of the signature. There's a lot of signature holes, but this one is just uh, beautiful coming in at the end here. Yes, it is. Another Through the trees. Shot. Just cuts by Kicked the flag. Right a little bit. All right. And Brian with his uh, his second throw. Through. All right, should be okay there. Steve. Yes, sir. Nice, nice smooth. Smooth release. Nice and smooth. Here's Joe now in his second throw at the basket. Threaded that needle. And that he did. Oof. Just stayed Nicely out to the done. left, but that was a sweet little upshot. And now Jeremy with his third throw. Oh, he could have tied yeah. Brian with that Woo. shot there. That's a tough break. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a tough, tough putt for him. Great shot of Brian here on his finishing shot. Solid chains. Style, yep, all the way through. Ryan, and I happy think they're there. Gonna let, uh, they're going to let Steve uh, put out last. performance. Let Steve put out for his uh, show. He's in. Shot. And it looks like our champion for the 21st annual Seneca Soiree is Steve Brinster. There it is. Nicely done. Yes. Nice job, Steve. Outstanding. That was some great golf, yep. Carl. Yeah, great camaraderie from yep. our top they all pros thank there. Each other all. That's that's good stuff to Rex, see. Rex, we got to see some great disc golf. We had three birdies in a par there. We got a four-stroke 
victory from Steve Brinster. We got to see some outstanding golf here. Oh, at beautiful Seneca rollers, Creek. beautiful backhands, and some really sweet forearms. All right, we're going to go to break, and we'll wrap it up here, folks. Well, Rex, we saw a great final round, and Stevie ran away with that one, but it was very close. But Stevie had the eagle, three birdies in a row, and unfortunately with the double bogey that Brian had when Stevie had a birdie, that's three strokes in one hole, and at this level of competition, that's hard to make up. It's brutal. And, you know, it was doing – the first couple holes, everything was fine, and when that happened, that three-stroke swing, you could see the air go out of Brian, and it was tough for him to hang on. And, and uh, Jeremy, with that last putt, could have tied Brian, but uh, missed it. So uh, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch. And we saw some great oh. shots from all of the four pros. They could all be oh. proud of the performance they put Fantastic. on here at Seneca. And it was a great course to be showcased as well. Oh, it's a great place to play. And all the help, all the spotters, fantastic. Yeah, you know. Volunteerism certainly makes the sport of disc golf work. Tremendous. Well, you, we're both fellow disc golfers, but we're also fellow submariners. We both served the United States Navy. I uh, served on the USS Spadefish in my enlisted days before I got my commission and retired as a Navy lieutenant. And tell me about your naval service, Rex. I served aboard the USS George Bancroft. It was a fleet ballistic nuclear-powered submarine that uh, had the capability of carrying 16 Poseidon missiles on board. I was a qualified submariner on that for four and a half years. They don't call it the silent service for nothing. <laughs> We'd like to salute all of our men and women out there that uh, serve our country. We appreciate your service and all the support that our fellow citizens give them. Well, that's all we have for this edition of Disc Golf Monthly. Please join us next time. I'm Carl Cubbage with Rex Hay for Disc Golf Monthly, the show that takes you one step closer to the sport of disc golf. Um, yeah, this, this means a lot to me. This is always like a staple of East Coast golf. Seneca Suarez, one of the first tournaments, big tournaments that I ever went to. Um, it's always awesome to be a part of it. Thanks for everybody to help step up, you know, step up and run this thing and keep it going. Um, this is the tournament that I look forward to every year and I really appreciate it.